So this is a general overview of our latest trainer. Uses a stepper drive with a, a motor on, on a worm gear. And then also on the end it has an encoder. And then that'll feed back here. And you can tie this into the PLC. This here is a, um, a dial switch. And so you can give inputs just to the PLC. These are your two limit switches that are on the end. And they'll be flagged off of this here, um, just the bolt sticking out. So it's an over travel. So typically it would stop here on the proximity switch. That's how you'd have it programmed. And then you'll have an over travel coming off of this bolt here. So when it hits the prox, It'll drop out the motor, and there's a diff different ways that you can do that. This is the three proximity switches. So you wire these three up to the PLC. Right now, I just have it in a manual state, so that way I can test it out, test out the theory, and to get it to work. And just in, on a manual jog, I wrote a program in the RS Logix 500. And what it's going to do, um, it should come out. Let me uh, make sure the direction's right. Yeah. So it should go to the center position. Now it should go to the far left position and these are pulse increments into the um didn't quite make it there but um you're taking pulses from the plc so this in this case we're using a 1400 so the output two we're taking generating a frequency the frequency is coming into here um, and then we're going from here to our stepper drive, then from our stepper drive back to here, then we're wiring it up to our, our motor. So these are a direct input to the motor. So they're, it's all with two millimeter banana plugs. So that way it's easy to, um, play around with and redo and undo and if you mess something up it's easy to fix and so in the program in the rs logix 500 program let's see if i can go here um we're on output two the frequency output frequency is set at 5000 hertz the jog frequency is 1000 and then the total pulses to be generated, which is the actual output of the PLC each time, is at, at 3,000. The X cell and D cell I have set it at 1,000. So I have the start push button up here. That's enabling, that's enabling the rung, which is our PTO zero. And then this is... A J, a JC is what its address and what our, our JC is doing if I can find it um, jog continuous right there so when this goes enabled we're going to run at 5000 hertz and we're going to go for 30,000 pulses <laughs> So, hit the start button. First, let's, this is the center one is our direction. So, with our direction having power, and this goes to our controller, our direction having power is going to go to the right. If we remove the power from the direction, the direction enable, it goes to the left. So this is these two here are enables our direction, then our pulses. 
And then this is the stepper motor itself. So let's hit their start button and it moves 30,000 pulses. Almost made it over here so you can see it. 